Hey, LVC. In case you missed this in my sermon a few weeks ago, quick word on giving. As far as I can tell, there are three main principles in the New Testament about giving. Intentionality, generosity, and joy. So just briefly on the topic of intentionality. What do I mean by intentionality? Well, Paul's teaching in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 actually gives us a great idea of what this means. He writes to his friends in Corinth, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So did you hear that? He says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. So it's a very, very personal decision where you make a deliberate choice on how you're going to give based on what God has given you. And so when we talk about intentionality, we want to say, for example, to those of you who are single people, to take time to think about it, consider your budget, maybe talk to a trusted friend or family member to say, okay, based on my needs, my budget, here is what I want to give. But then for married couples, it would mean sitting down together, looking at your budget and saying, okay, for this year, what have we decided in our heart to give? So notice it places the decision in the heart between God and the person. There is no compulsion, Paul says. Now we're going to get on later to what it means to be a cheerful giver. So that's the principle of joy. But for now, the issue is as we're still fairly early on in this year, we want to put before you as a church leadership that as we think about intentionality for all of us to get before God and say, okay, God, show me what to give. And then you as an individual have decided in your heart to give that. And so then the key is to follow through with that decision. Paul says what you should give. Each of you should give what you've decided in your heart to give. So that's also part of the intentionality, the deliberateness, that once you've gone before the Lord and, okay, you've decided in your heart to give, no one has manipulated you, no one has forced you, but then Paul says you should give that, you should follow through on it. And so, look, if there's any individual reluctance in your heart, in your mind, again, go before the Lord, talk to him about it. If you need counsel, talk to people in your home group, talk to trusted friends, and go before the Lord once again and say, okay, God, this is between me and you, right? The Lord is the Lord of your conscience. If you have any questions, please let us know. But let me just end by saying thank you, church. Last year, you heard me say that coming up on the last quarter of the year, we were facing a deficit. But then this church stepped up. People gave, and we actually ended with a surplus. So thank you, and God bless you, and we're going to trust the Lord for 2021.